A live look from the Sundial Bridge. Gorgeous day out there. Plenty to do by the Sacramento River on this nice Saturday evening. Eric, are we expecting temperatures to rise? Yeah, definitely. We're going to see those temperatures rise. It's going to take a few days, but uh, by the middle and next part of and the end of next week, we're definitely going to be very hot. Outside right now, you can see on this uh, Wairika sky cam that we have seen some cloud cover up to the northwest of the valley and uh, not really a whole lot in the way of rain, just some hit and miss showers. But uh, I think things are going to clear out a little bit tonight and then we'll see the same thing tomorrow. So you can see uh, definitely a little different up as you go to the north, a little more cloud coverage. But we are looking at uh, seasonal temps for the weekend. It's uh, 90 degrees is about where we should be for this time of year in the valley. And uh, that's where we were today. That's about where we're going to be tomorrow. So pretty similar tomorrow to what we saw today with those light showers continuing up in the northwest. But uh, by midweek, that's when we really start to heat things up. The high temperatures again today. Well, we had 82 in Alturas, 90 degrees for Chico, Red Bluff, Redding and Corning. 92 was the high in Oroville, so one of the warmer spots there. 79 for Weaverville, a little cooler along the coast, 71 for Eureka. What's going on though is we have high pressure in the Mountain West, and that's going to continue to build over the next few days. Right now it is in control of the West, but we have this storm system offshore that's uh, kind of pushing that cloud coverage and moisture into Oregon and the Northwestern region of our region. And uh, once we get into uh, like say Monday, Tuesday, this ridge of high pressure is going to build up even stronger, going to take over the whole west coast. And this storm right here is going to get bumped way up into the northwest. And then we're going to see the heat conditions uh, rise. So during that transition period on Monday, Tuesday, I think we'll be pretty breezy. We're going to see those winds out of the south around uh, 20, 25 miles per hour. And then as we get into Wednesday, that's when the ridge will be in complete effect and uh, we'll see those temperatures up around 110 degrees in the valley, especially on Thursday and Friday. Those look to be the warmest days of the seven day forecast. A little closer look though at our region, you can see those clouds that move through with that storm system, a weak storm system. We did see a trace of rain in Redding at the airport last night, but uh, really not a whole lot of moisture out of it. It's uh, actually not a, not a lot of that's reaching the ground. We call it Virga. But uh, we will see that for the next couple of days some, uh, as that system kind of moves offshore and uh, brings in some cloud cover. But I think uh, we're definitely going to end that as we get into uh, probably about Tuesday. You can see on the future cast, uh, a lot of the rain stays towards the coastline and the cloud cover kind of moves in and out. But then by Monday, it looks like we'll see more in the way of sunshine, although a little breezy on Monday and Tuesday before that uh, heat wave begins. So here's your forecast for tomorrow in the northwest. We're going to go with uh, temperatures in the 80s tomorrow. So even though we'll see isolated rain showers, it's going to be uh, a little cloudy, so it'll feel a little muggy here. We'll see 81 for a high in a at Hay Fork. Overnight lows down around 52. And uh, French Gulch will see highs in the mid 80s with some cloud cover tomorrow and maybe a stray shower. Partly cloudy in the mountains. We'll go with highs in the 70s, up around uh, 85 though in Alturas, 83 for Susanville. Overnight lows on the mild side around 50 degrees in Chester tonight to bottom out. And then uh, tomorrow in the foothills, we will be in the 60s for overnight lows, about 84 degrees in Paradise, 85 in Concow, and 73 in Butte Meadows. So probably about the same tomorrow as what you saw today. Uh, some of the cloud cover up in the, in the north, and then uh, the valley will see temperatures right around 90 degrees. 66 for Red Bluff tonight, 92 tomorrow. 93 for Corning for a daytime high, partly cloudy and warmer tomorrow by a few degrees maybe. 67 for Chico tonight for an overnight low, 66 in Oroville, 63 in Marysville tonight, 91 tomorrow. So sunny and warm again tomorrow, right around normal for this time of year, which is 90 degrees. But then take a look at this. We get um, into the middle of the week and we hit 103 on Wednesday and then 109 for Thursday. 108 on Friday. Next weekend actually looks a little cooler, but still in the triple digits. Look at that though, 110 for Thursday and Friday for Reading. Overnight temperatures only in the 70s, so it's going to be a little toasty there, but uh, things are going to be a little pleasant for the next few days, right around normal for this time of year. Thanks, Eric. Stick with us. We'll be right back.